This is a much improved recording by Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys from January 1953. It was recorded during a KXLA radio broadcast from Los Angeles, California. Now, during the 1950s, Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys traveled all over the western half of the United States. One of their frequent places to play was in the Los Angeles, California area. Now, what you are about to hear is the first of 12 radio programs that were broadcast in January 1953 over KXLA in Los Angeles. Lou Stevens is the announcer. On this occasion, the band was playing at the Harmony Park Ballroom in Anaheim, California, which was located at the intersection of Broadway and Manchester. The shows that were broadcast advertised the dances that they played there. This KXLA radio broadcast was originally recorded on a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder in 1953. Reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders were common in music recording studios from the 1940s to the 1990s. In the late 1980s, a copy of the original 1953 reel-to-reel -reel tape was transferred to a modern tape recorder that had a different speed. Then it was copied to a cassette tape and given to me. Now, the difference in recording speed created a distortion which made the voices and the music sound much faster than normal. Uh, to remedy this situation, my webmaster used an iMac computer and advanced audio software to remaster the cassette tape audio. He modified the speed of the original recording to emulate normal conversational speech, and he reset the music to the proper rhythm and tempo. Now, he also converted the mono radio recording to stereo in order to reproduce a live uh, performance experience. Now, no one has ever heard these shows at the correct speed. As to the selections they play on this eighth show of 12, here's what follows. The first number on the program is already in progress as the show begins. Bob Wills knew all sorts of old-time fiddle tunes, and here he opens the show with one that is not well known, Hog in the Door. Texas Playboy Jesse Ashlock wrote and composed the next number, Please Don't Leave Me. Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys recorded it on July 24, 1941, and Jack Lloyd does the vocal. Louise Rowe then comes up to the microphone and sings Crocodile Tears. This was a popular number in the country field, and Bob Wills never recorded it, but June Carter, Tex Williams, and Red Perkins did, all in 1949. Bob Wills sings a little ditty for a few seconds, which he says is his favorite song, and then, after quite a bit of talk with Glenn Stroud, the owner of Harmony Park Ballroom, Stroud's singer, also named Glenn, sings Worried Over You. Next on the program, Billy Bowman plays Steel Guitar Rag. He does a fine job in this number that the band made famous in 1936, and this instrumental has a great drum solo by Jack Greenback. The song, Just a Little Levin Will Go a Long Way, rounds out the program. It's an Eddie Arnold number that he recorded on December 17, 1947. Jay Roberts as a vocal. Unfortunately, the broadcast cuts off before the end of the song. Do me a favor and click on the red subscribe button below. YouTube will never bother you with any emails. They just want to know if you're watching my videos or not. But if you ring the bell, you will receive a notification when we upload a new video. It's your choice. And with that out of the way, here we go. Well, let's play off the door here. Thank you. 
story. <laughs> well, we'll save that for tomorrow. Maybe Louise will bring that part of it up here. We'll let her sing today. Everybody looks so nicely. Get the ice lock, wearing shoes. Uh, why don't you just huh? speak, speak for Jeff and myself? Don't say anything about Jack Greenback, baby. Oh, Jack. You couldn't say that looks nice, could you? And there's Steve Elkins at the piano. Yes, on the piano, boy. Yes, he is. He has a terrible time carrying that on his back from here to Harmony Park every Wednesday. You know, Friday, Friday. Him, I don't see why I'd get an upright if I was him. Uh, uh, right. Baby Grand is always the head to carry around. Awkward. Well, I remember that baby Grand when it was he just a smaller infant, you know. When we got it, only had 72 keys on it. Is that right? Yeah. How many does that mean? Oh, that's wonderful. I wish my fiddle would grow like the head of a <laughs> baby. Oh, the way it is. It's the greatest. I could spot. finally set it down like bass fiddle, you know. Wouldn't have to play it under my chin. All right, Lou. I just thought I'd say that I love this program. <laughs> I'm going to get off it right quick. Too. Oh, don't do like that. If you love it, why get off of it? Here's Jack Lloyd with a little old song today. How about Please Don't Leave Me, Jack? Yeah. Would you do that? Did you say old Eddie Kirk or did I say that? If I did, I'm very sorry. Pretty old Eddie. Eddie, I'm very sorry that I used the word old there. That's all right. Us old right. fellas always refer to things that way. Yeah, but we got to stick together, haven't we? Oh, we? Well, you putting yourself right back in there. <laughs> I didn't mean you, mean you don't know it, but I'm getting right up there, Bob. I know that you'll soon be 21. I can tell by looking at it. Thank you, sir. And look at Thank that. you. I'll buy you a new fiddle for that. <laughs> oh, good. I've been wanting a new <laughs> I'm not going to say the name, though. No, you but anyway, go just above Sears and get this one. Oh, right. I mean, I'll, the next one. I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that. where I got this one. Bob, it's, it's, you know, it's awful wonderful to have you out here. Thank you, Eddie. I shouldn't say awful wonderful. I should say mighty wonderful. Well, good. Lou and myself got all mixed up on that word the other day. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I heard you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I always think when I when I hear you or hear your records or anything about the time you and I were out at El Monte. You remember that yes, morning we I, was out there I and they had all those people out? Had a lot of fun. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Lots of fun. Uh -huh. Lots of people out there. Yeah. Where, where, uh, where is this place you're working now? Oh, there you go. Huh? It's Anaheim. Friends, I like Harmony. <laughs> I do, I do, Eddie. I, I do. We'd have to get we, on. You can't stay out of here. I just like to say that uh, everybody knows that Harmony Park Ballroom was one of the finest places to go to see a wonderful show like Bob Wills and all the Texas Playboys. If they don't know it, they ought to go down there. They'll soon find out. And Harmony Park Ballroom happens to be the only ballroom in the United States that has a picture of Cousin Lou. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, everybody, come on out there Friday and Saturday night and see my picture. 
And you know what's so funny about that the other night, Lou? The first time I looked at that picture, you wasn't smiling. There wasn't very many people in the hall. After oh. a while, the people began to come in front, and I looked back at you, and you had the biggest grin on your face ever though. Well, all right, yes. <laughs> you <laughs> mean that picture worked? It actually It works. I don't know what it is. It's just something old Lou laying at home, dreaming, hoping everything's all right for us. The secret that's... process of Cousin Lou Stevens. Something. Bob, uh, could I make a little request? If it had nothing to do with Jesse, yes. Uh, well, hello, man. Oh, my God. I haven't seen Jesse in a long time. That's been a long time ago, hasn't it, boy? I bet you boys used to go to school together. Well, yeah, the school of hard knocks down on Vine Street and uh, Sunset Boulevard. Is that right, Jesse? You know that pretty little girl that you've got over here? I never did meet her, and I sure would Oh, like come her. over here, Pluto. Pluto? Yeah. That's, a, that's a doggy remark if I ever heard one. She's a dandy, though. Bless her. That's right. Louise Texas. Well, there's two states down there claimer. Oh, Oklahoma claims she's from Texas. Texas claims she's from Oklahoma. <laughs> well, I'm mighty proud to know you. Eddie Kirk here, and that's little Louise Roll. Nice to know Louise Roll. There's a row of them, but she makes us roll of them. I, I listen to her every day. She's going to sing a song pretty soon? I'll, if we don't forget her. What do you think? You don't think we should forget her again today, do you? I don't want to forget her. Okay. Now, don't let that go to your head. He's not here to give you a screen test. <laughs> We're having more trouble. Well, well, before we this, is, this is where I come in. Bob, thanks for letting me uh, be on uh, your program, and we'll be listening. God bless you. You bet your life. We're going to let her sing right now, just so we won't forget her. Just for you, Eddie. What did we have all ready to do yesterday? Let's Crocodile do it today. Tears. There we go. Let's do it today. Kick it off. Oh, 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 today. A message? Uh, you know Captain Shaman? Yes. Uh, uh, we've been neglecting him. He wants to tell us what happened when he was in the service. In the service? Uh, 
Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to talk about Ashlock. About what happened? He stomped his toe. <laughs> You'll get that. Say, Billy, come here. I want to make a deal with you. For old Eldon, old captain. What do, you, what do you want to do? Looks like you could be as good as I am. Eighteen years ago, I sold him a guitar. Mm -hmm. And he paid me a dollar a week. Now, he's good for pay because all the time he's in the Army, he kept sending me that dollar a week over to Germany, all around. Now, let me see. He's in the, in the Battle of the Bulls over there. He's taking time out to send me that dollar. That's a $500 guitar. That's right. At a well, dollar a week. Dollar a week. That won't take long. It won't take no. long. Who'd ever thought he'd ever paid this other one out? I'll be working with you myself at that time. <laughs> well, I'm I don't know you may be working with my boy. <laughs> After all, I'm not standing still, see? There. I'm sorry, folks. That's why I wear a hat. Bye -bye. Put it back on. You've got a special treat there, every one of you. Remember that. I don't do that for just any and everybody. I lost my head or wouldn't have done it then. Come on, Elvis. Bob, you know, I do want to thank Billy Strange for the use of his guitar. Oh, you do? I'm just going to borrow it for about anywhere six, seven months, something like that. For my guitar. Is that all? Yeah, don't say he's welcome. You get it back. You pay bunch of money into the other. Bob, we have several letters here. I'd like to hurriedly get a few of them. Says right. uh, Mr. Bob Wells. Mr. I would, I, that over. I says Mr. It. Bob Wills. <laughs> yeah. Are you right sure that's what, what, that's what it says? says. You can see right there, Mr. Bob Wills. Says. says, I would like to hear you sing the song you like best. I don't know which one that would be, but anyway, that's for Dusty, Ted, Carol, Gordon, Jackie, and Freddie. The one that I uh, like best. Give me a little key of G over there, boy. And that's fine, Dusty. Well, I wrote her a letter when I know better and asked her to be my wife. Long come a fella and hit me on the smell that's the extra I got. Oh, the monkey and the frog, turtle and dog, chicks and whittle and flea. A little fuzzy tune, there's a baboon, all got a wife but me. Stop it. All right, that's, that's good. That's all right. Keep that right That's mighty, mighty nice. <laughs> I've liked that song since I was four years old. My dad taught me that on his leaving. I was four years old. Kid, well, that's been quite a way. Well, not too far back. I think it will make a hit. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I never said not too far back. 1909. <laughs> Here's, a, Here's a nice card. It says, uh, please, please play, <laughs> please play New San Antonio Rose. That's for Gary Anderson. Here's also one that says, listen to your program every day and like it very, very much. And that's signed a teenage listener, Darlene Haley. All right, here's another nice letter from Mrs. T.H. Emery. And their old-timers used to listen to the band way back in the Tulsa days, and that's mighty nice. Thank you for a very nice letter. It says, Dear friend Bob, I've listened to the boys for years. And also they saw us on the Jimmy Wickley show the other day. They say they have a wonderful time when they come to our dances, and that's mighty nice, and that's sincerely Miss Lottie Whelan. One more, Bob, and then I'll let you have it. It says, Dear Bob and boys, Sure glad to welcome you boys to California. And they say they're planning on coming out to Harmony Park this weekend. That's mighty nice. And that's signed Mrs. Iona Gibbons. Okay, Bob. Thanks a lot, friends. Thanks just a lot for those wonderful letters. We certainly do appreciate it. Thank you for the call to Louise. Go someplace and sit down and get out of my way. <laughs> oh, dear. How are you, Jack? All right? Keep your feet. That's good. You don't look all right. I hope you are. Are you? Greenback, Bob. Greenback. That's who I'm talking about. Look at him. Look at him. Uh -huh. Bob, could I make a dedication? Yeah. You know, Ray Whitley, I'd kind of like to go out to his house and have a smoke with him any time of these. He could let us know he's back in town. He don't have to be so stuck up. Well, I know. Maybe you better stay there and let us come to see him, No, You right. know how Ray is. You know it, and I know it. He likes, he likes that easy rocking chair. Stay in there, boy. Ray, you get out of your said? rocking chair and come on over to Harmony <laughs> Park Ballroom. What was it the other day about the loot? said he was sitting on that hill so long he wouldn't come after him, but he was going out and get some of that loot for himself. <laughs> you well, sounds more like Ray and Ray does himself. Uh, Hello, tune Bill. in tomorrow and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's the place where I know what we ought to do. Let's do it. We ought to just tell the good neighbors that uh, this is just a little sample of the good times that roll at Harmony Park Ballroom. That's right. Not only this week, friends, we want to tell you from now on and on. Keep that place bopping, bopping. What, is you, what do you bop musicians say? Keep it bopping, bopping, hopping. 
Uh, he's on another channel. He's on another channel. Yeah, right. right. He's been on that channel so long. Keep the joint jumping. I knew we'd hear from him in a minute. We're going to have the joint jumping tomorrow night, friends, because all of uh, Bob Will's friends like you and me and everybody, we're going to try and be out there this Friday night, tomorrow night, and Saturday night. And Bob and the boys are going to be out there Friday and Saturday night and dance till 2 o'clock in the morning. That's right. Just play, and we're just going to have a wonderful time. A wonderful time. That's that right. Harmony Park Ballroom Broadway in Manchester and Anaheim, the place to go, just follow the crowd. Yeah, and right. there's all kinds of free parking at yes, Harmony right. Park just Ballroom. Just what you like. You That's right. Bring your trailer along if you'd like. I'll do We that. take a trailer out there every night. We know you can park it there. That's right. Well, uh, you know Glenn Stroud come over here today, and I'd say... Well, for us, and of course for the players, too. Oh, it's a great honor. He woke that boy up and got him up early and brought him over here. That's none other. Come over here, my boy. Yes, sir. Glenn Wilde. Hello, Hello Glenn. Bob. Bless your heart. That's a wonderful smile you have there. Are you going to keep that smile all the time out there at Harmony Park so we can wish you I'm out and come back here? Certainly, I'm going to tell you, I hope it's not this early when we started Harmony Park. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean when I said get a man up to start. Well, you know... Uh, 6.15, I got up this morning, and I just got oh, married. Man. That's early to get up when you just get married. You oh, know that. brother, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> certainly is. Yes, but after all, you're still able to smile, look happy, and everything's lovely. Oh, Bob, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you and Glenn, I understand there's going to be nine of you boys on the stand. Glenn's going to still be his big old smile himself. Come here, Glenn. Did you ever see one of these microphones? Uh, <laughs> uh, shall, we, shall we bring it up about 13 feet? Oh, I'll do for Glenn. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of... Stooping your knees there a little bit, Glenn. Well, I kind of have to bend over just a little bit to get to you. Know? Yeah, I was there. Well, we just want to tell our friends, your friends, Glenn, that uh, it's, it's just Glenn, too, huh? Two Glenns. Too many Two Glenns, Glenns around here. Come up here, Bob. <laughs> That's not a Bob. <laughs> That's right. Two oh. Glenns and one Bob. I'm about to write out here. But uh, we're looking, we're thinking, and know that you're going to carry on out there, and nine of you boys on the stand, huh? Certainly will be, Bob, and I'll tell you, doggone it, it's going to be pretty hard. To, we ain't going to take your place up there. We're going to try to. Do as good a job as you have done. Well, it's brother, wonderful. you will, and don't worry about that because I've seen you fellas work. That's the old gang together. The old it? gang and Bob, I think you know all the boys, too. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Rocky Stone and Woody Apple White on fiddle. That's right. Like you and Jesse. That's here. right. Doing the best. Oh, well, that takes four of the best, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, well, not quite as pretty, <laughs> but they're working on it. They get ugly all the time. So <laughs> <hard. Yeah. laughs> Is it true you got old Glenn Duncan with you, too, out there? Huh? Glenn Duncan's going to be playing bass. Oh, Glenn, nice night. That's great. Any wonderful boy, though. Yes, sir. Boy, he man. certainly is. And what about this, uh, oh, that, uh, you think Rimmer about Rider? What about him? That <laughs> Bull Rider? No. <laughs> what That'll about be him? Virgil Lee. He plays bass and sings about his fine tune, too. You know what? Oh, that Virgil being him. Whenever he quits riding them bulls, I'm going to tackle him. I you understood know. you had a good time, you and Virgil, up there. Oh, and some we've had more fun than, than anybody in the country than that guy. Well, we'll let well, Dad do a little in there. Not much. No, not let you in on this much. We had too much fun. Well, then, Bob, you know, there's Earl Fendi on standard guitar. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, Kenny Norman on steel. And Kenny's a sweet boy. There's a swell guy. He is good a wonderful boy. He's a good musician, Bob. Yes. And uh, also, there's Austin Strode on piano. That sort of makes up. Uh oh, if you didn't forget. Yeah. But there's Joe Muto back there kicking that dance beat. You know what I mean? We you bet you're right. right. I know what you mean. You Enjoy bet you. And uh, we do want it understood right now. Is that right, Glenn? I'm this Glenn now, that you are the band leader out there. Is that right? Don't back That's away. Right. That's right, Bob. You the boys going to sit up there in front of all of them and do a lot of singing? A lot of smiling? Well, I'm a lot of Bob. Bob I know. Right. Right. It's a new band. I mean, it's an old band with a new name. Ah, uh, you what are. What is the name of it, Glenn? That's the Southern Stars. Yeah. Southern Stars. Southern Stars. Wonderful. Stars. Wonderful. I'll tell you what. I, I stand up there and, and make with the, with the actions and, and uh, some noise when I uh -huh. sing a couple well, of things. Well, I'm kind of... You haven't grabbed my little, ah, ha, have you? Somebody's got it. I haven't got it. My golly, I couldn't, I couldn't grab anything better, but I haven't yeah. yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> I don't know. There's one guy when I was in the Army kept doing that. I said, man, that was cashed in on 10 years ago, and the money's in the bank. I don't believe I was your fool with it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I bet you. I bet he still made money out of your best. Well, I, I, I doubt it. <laughs> so many people have top of good, and I won't take that chance myself because I couldn't even come close to doing that. Aha, uh -huh, like you did. Well, that's mighty good. Glenn, uh, you can do one thing for us, though. Like we haven't got time for you to say a word. We do it. There's a man that only pays for the time, owns the place, but we won't let him talk. And he's so big. That's the <laughs> sign. He's a good guy. Uh -huh. I have you the last two months at Harmony Park, Bob. You've been wonderful to work with. 
Hope you come back. See me. Thank you. That's the sweetest words I've ever well, heard Bob, anybody say. Bob, you're not leaving Southern California, are oh, you? Oh, no. No, I'm around. Well, I can tell you, a few weeks later, I may push you out. You know, with this kind of a pushing game. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only kidding, Glenn. You boys are great, and you know I think that, don't Thank you? Thank you, Bob. How about Perfect. singing a little song with us? Just well, name Bob, one easy, like I did a minute ago. You hear the one I sing? Sing your favorite. Well, Bob, uh, one of my favorites is, is a song that you recorded a long time ago. Good boy, what is it? Hope I missed it. Call Worried Over You. Do you remember Worried that? Over You. Can, what key is that, Glenn? We'll hit it. Bob, Bob be flat. I'll Bob. be flat. Worried Over You. That's what you're saying. One, two, three. Ah. Ah. What tortures I go through yeah. This jealousy is deep in me oh. Worried over you yeah. We always seem to end up quarreling, And then you say we're through oh, We're never through But we could be so happy, darling oh, If I could hide my foolish pride This is not the romance I look forward to How can I find my peace of mind when I'm worried over you? little secret to tell you. What is that? I've mean? been wanting to sing a song with you for a good many years. Is that right? Not tell one myself or you, but since uh -huh. I was about so high on the grass. Oh, bless your heart, friends. He's down about his knees. Yeah, he was a little bitty fellow. I want to thank you a lot, Bob. Okay, my okay. mighty one. Well, thanks to you, and the best of luck with you and Glenn Stroud out there at Harmony Park, and I know you'll have it. Thank you, Bob. And thank friends, you. yes, sir, mighty fine, Glenn. As a swell boy, going to go places in this business. And the way to handle that band is get you one of these great long bull whips. And don't use it on a one of them, but the guy on the bass fiddle, Virgil. Use it on him. Is that stuff like a black snake? Like a black snake. Oh, 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 good boy, oh, oh. good boy. That'll get the job done. Well, friends, you know, of course, it's El Centro tonight for us and then back here for tomorrow's program. And tomorrow night at Harmony Park, as Lou would say, ah, ah, pull down them shades, Liza. Yeah. And then we'll be right back there Saturday night again. For a good time, Liza. Now you can let the shade up. Now, <laughs> Lou, come over and tell people where we're going to be Friday and Saturday night. Well, neighbors, remember Bob Wills and all the Texas Playboys will be in person at the big friendly Harmony Park Ballroom, Broadway and Manchester in Anaheim. We're going to dance till 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, we want you to come on over, come in early, and stay late. we got a wonderful band, and you're just going to have the time of your life this Friday and Saturday night with Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys in person. Thank you, Lou. Would you like a light now? No, thank oh, you. Oh, you don't smoke it. Huh? First person, because we're going to be in person. Is that California? Or? Well, that's or two miles it? south of Cash in Arkansas. Oh, I know where that is. Now, yeah. <laughs> don't you all get the people confused? We're going to be at Harmony Park in Anaheim. Yeah. That's where we're going to be. Boys, can we go on something kind of fast? Steal guitar rags. People asked for it last night. Oh. Yes, sir. Let's take it, friends. Oh. Yes, sir.
it. Take it away, Billy. Take it away. <laughs> time of day. How much time we got? minute and a half. Just time for Jay Roberts to step up here and say just a little love and one, two, three. Sorry, you have to be Louise Brown. Thanks for watching my video. 
click on the button below here and go to my website, www.exploringthepast.net.